Hello and welcome back to the second edition of Ask EG, sponsored by Intel. And the next question is from Panoise. American Dota scene is horrendous. What needs to be done <laughs> to be able to remedy this? Any up and coming teams out there that we should be on the lookout for from the US? Well, I think we've proven today or these past few days that it's not totally horrendous, hopefully. But um, uh, teams to watch for, um, Shaken's obviously the old Pandemic Core. Um, they're pretty good. And also Joy. Um, they uh, actually took first place for the SWC USA qualifiers. I expect a lot of good things from them. So hopefully, you know, together these teams can help, uh, you know, sink these uh, Euros egos a little bit. But we'll see. Uh, maybe to make the American scene a little bit better, I think more Americans need to take it a little bit more seriously. I think that might be most of the problem is that a lot of them just don't really take the game seriously enough. Uh, I think another team maybe on the lookout for would be the, the MYM team is if they actually get an American team or not, we'll, but we'll see about that. They seem to have a lot of American players though. Czech 6 has a pretty decent squad. so. Well, they've had their ups and downs, but still, it's check six, Shakens, Joy's team, which is led by Zaku. It's an old formation of the old XSK, an international team. And there is generally just teamwork and sticking together, basically. I think check six is a great example for why the exa uh, American Dota scene is, uh, could be called horrendous at the moment. They're, uh, they're, they've, they're amazingly talented players. They, uh, I think their their so their skill level is like on par with any other team. But what they ru what they run in games, their lineups, the their attitude towards the game, it just it's not particularly serious, and it's not particularly you know it's not pretty it's that's not very constructive towards winning the game. I don't have any spe uh, pers uh, specific examples in mind right now of lineups they've run run, but. It, uh, or anything, but I mean, this is this is the this is what like the American Dota scene is like. We there are all these talented players. There are all all these players that are you know just as good as any of these uh, as any of the great Euro players. And there's all this there's this huge talent pool, but for some reason it's not being you know it's not being utilized. Teams break up too fast. Teams don't stick together long enough to you know establish some good synergy. Uh, you know, get their team play down, all that stuff, and it's just it's just too random, too you know, too pessimistic in general, and I think that I think that could be changed. I think I think there could be a lot more great American Dota teams. Go USA. <laughs> Next question by Fizardo. How do you guys feel about not being invited to the Prime Defending League? Do you guys think you deserve to represent the great glorious empire of America instead of Czech Six? Um, as far as not being invited to the Prime Defending League, yes, it's a pretty prestigious online league, and no, we're not invited, but it was, you know, a decision made by Europeans who, you know, think themselves as superior generally, but we had our chance to qualify through um, the Prime Defending uh, tournament and we you know we threw that away so there's no one to blame there's no feeling of we deserve to be there and we're not is you know we didn't get there on our own so why you know why bother with an invitation and as far as check six I wish them the best of luck you know as Andre said they're an incredibly talented team and as long as you know Ori stays away from the solo lean in the middle I think they'll do really well yeah, like Whisper is saying, I, I don't know who we could blame to not get invited there besides ourselves. Um, it's got to come from us in order to get invited to a league like that. I concur. Yep, we weren't doing too well at that point, and of course we didn't get invited. Our performance didn't justify getting invited to <laughs> Pride and Defending League at that point. But I think that's going to change from this point on. I think we've shown that today. Um, Yep. Next question by Mobile Suit Pikachu. People called you overrated. How do you react to these violent claims? 
Um, I guess we react by getting second at DreamHack. Um, I don't know though. That's a fabulous answer. I concur. <laughs> I think we're extremely overrated. <laughs> All right, next question by Crixus. What leagues and places do you guys as individuals play Dota when not playing with EG? Um, pretty much everywhere. Leisure League, such as TDA, then IHL, which is kind of halfway in between, although that kind of dies and then comes back and then dies and come ba comes back. And then there's a IHCS, which is mostly uh, formed with European and Russian players. It's a lot more competitive. It's also a lot more hostile because people get you know, really frustrated each other. So, you know, nothing is as good as playing with your team because you form the kind of understanding and the kind of, you know, mutual respect that you don't in these just random games. But, um, you know, those are the places I generally play at. At the moment, I kind of only have time to play with my team, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, any extra time that I have, I try to devote to the team that I can. Uh, time that other time is just usually at work or with my family, so I don't really play in necessarily a whole lot of leagues. Uh, I prefer to enjoy playing TDAs, <laughs> mainly because it provides, uh, it's actually quite entertaining to come up with random ingenious builds that, you know, you can use in competition and people don't expect. I know Andre prefers APEM pubs and he, <laughs> he uses them to practice quite a bit. Uh, IHCS? And a bunch of other leagues I won't name here because I pretty much hate myself for playing there. <laughs> not DXT though. What, not, DXT? not DXT? Surprising. I. All right, next.